Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 6th of February, 2019. One of my friends sent me a rather interesting email. He wrote, Hey Gabe, I just watched your video about your granddaughter saying that they don't want to have kids. I can relate because I worry about that happening to my family as well. Stay hopeful. My dad told me that a woman he dated in the 70s told him the exact same thing because the world is such a horrible place. I think for generations there have been people like that. Probably more so now because the invention of birth control and getting pregnant is more of a choice than it used to be. In fact, the education system indoctrinates them to think that way. Young women of today are raised with social messaging to want high power careers and material possessions rather than a family. That prioritization is probably going to bring some painful times in the future which will be felt by the limited number of children who inherit the earth. However, when someone uses that reasoning that the world is a horrible for children, they are taking for granted all of the safety and amenities we now have that were unavailable not even a century ago. Births are safer and can be done less painfully. Our medical care is incredible in what it could do. Infants don't die of disease or complications, and in other respects our society is better off too. Crime is lower than it was in the 70s. The immediate threat of war in a nuclear winter is off the table for now. As a young citizen in the United States, you are much better off than a generation or two ago. Think of your grandparents who took great risks and immigrated here with next to nothing. So why are young people so afraid of having kids? For one, I think the media cycle thrives on pessimism and makes the world sound much worse than it really is. History is not taught properly in schools, so there is no perspective on the current day. Of course, young people are afraid. They aren't exposed to true hardships, a survival-style world. They don't know any other type of world, and the adults are scraping the crap out of them. They just see the talking heads on television making it sound like Trump is going to hurt lots of people. Another reason is that we have so many comforts that having kids now is a personal sacrifice and inconvenience. What well, you are giving up economically and career-wise to raise a kid is an enormous economic hit. Yeah, I raised four by myself. True, not that long ago, weren't as expensive to educate and were more autonomous. Today, they have to be locked down in their homes until the age of 18 or, ordered, or older. And the government requires you to buy so many things for the schooling and safety, not to mention that a $100,000 bachelor's degree is the new high school diploma. People get paid less, too, so you need two working parents. I think that it's the biggest social problem for future generations right now. But it will correct itself with time because that is unsustainable and a new system will come to shape. Things might be shitty right now, but our civilization has endured some incredibly hard times, and they survived and continue to procreate. Take a look at this Joe Reagan interview with geologists. It's about the theory that 12,100 years ago, our ancestors survived an asteroid impact that was so intense it melted the glaciers in a matter of days, ending the Ice Age. Sea levels rose 400 feet putting about a third of the world land underwater, still to this day. The mammoths, saber-toothed tuber, giant ground sloths, and 120 other large mammals went extinct. This planet had a hellish condition with radical climate change and fire for a thousand years. Some believe that this event is where biblical stories originated. We survived that. And he attached the link of the video that I made. Share the interview with your granddaughter. Tell them the story of our species survival. Gabe, I noticed that your videos have gotten very depressing. Where did you even poke fun at the nonsense with the way you pronounce Atlantic Kagan 
and Sonia Sotomayor, or the jokes you would make about the crack smoke and homosexual Sunni Islamic extremist, fudgepack and homosexual bastard communist Arab Barack Hussein Obama. You know who, again, Barack Hussein Obama. There used to be a little more humor in your videos. I think it's easy to get depressed and dwell on the negative. The clowns at CNN want it to be this way because it keeps people like you and me talking about them and keeping them relevant. So there's no place to go that will fix the economy or corruption. America might be screwed, but every empire that ever existed had its day of reckoning. History sets back. The corrupt regimes crumble from within and are replaced with a better system. Maybe it takes a catalytic event to provoke changes for the better. The time isn't right now. We just have to do what we need to do to be prepared and survive for the long haul. And one more thing to keep in mind. A lot of young women don't have children as a priority in their mind at that age. Then they reach the age of 27, 30, and it's a different story. Keep calm and make positive videos. Signed, Winston. Well, that's his perspective. And uh, I thought I'd share what he wrote. If you like what he said, please repost it in your social media accounts, pass it on to your like-minded friends, and ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.